Ah, oh, ayun. Ah, sabi ko ano? So, hi everyone. Um, Lawrence Zem- is Zem- begonnen, means that, have you started? Yeah. Welcome back to our uh, new episode, episode 18 of our Over the Limit podcast. Um, today we have only us two. We uh, we don't have anyone with us today, unfortunately. We have some people coming, but uh, today is, uh, let's say, a Christmas special or something like this. Good idea. Um, we will talk about our season, actually, how it, how it has been, um, what was the positive and negatives about next year and all that shuttle McNiddle. So... Um, Gonna ask each other what we thought about each other's seasons and... Our best, worst races, most fun, and talk a bit about next year, I guess. Yeah. So, okay. yeah. How is life for the rest, for, for, first of all? Good? Well, you need to start off with, uh, with the awards. <laughs> <laughs> what was your position in the Autosport Award, Chris? <coughs> uh, I think I was fourth or third. The I Autosport th- Awards. Ah, yeah. Ah. The, the important one. Ah, we'll that come one. come to the other one after. Ah, um, yeah. I don't know. I, I didn't even check. Is it a top 100 or only top 50? Only top 50. Uh, I didn't make it this year. <laughs> it's the first year since three years I didn't make it. Yeah? Yeah. Well, last year you were in front of me. Yeah, yeah last yeah. year I didn't make last it. Last two obviously. years. <laughs> last two years I was in front of you. Okay. So it's actually the first year you were back in front. Yeah. Which, I mean, I have my New doubts jumps. about. Oh. <laughs> uh, I've won multiple races this year. Not maybe the yeah, WEC races, but um, still, nevertheless, if you look at... Uh, some drivers that are in there, then pff, I don't know. They must uh, suck very well or something. I don't know, but oh, you can say whatever you want. Huh? It's but it's it not is you or me deciding. No, so uh, I I put it aside and I go <laughs> on. I I'm quite really proud of it because you told me you sent the link to yeah. me. I didn't even know that it was released. I'm gonna buy the magazine. I'm gonna frame it on the wall. I have all the magazines where I'm in. I have. Yeah, because 19 a, worldwide in front of some from the one drivers is pretty. Yeah, but even 19 is quite quite good, huh? Yeah, I, so I, considering I, what you did, I knew I was gonna be in. Oh yeah, because they asked me for the interview, obviously. Ah, but I didn't know it was gonna be 19th. No, you're so. in front of Russell, who did Formula One. Yeah, I need to ask for a race now. Did you uh, do something else then beside the interview? Or? No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't make it. I mean, I don't care. I, you, I don't. I sleep the same. Yeah, no, it's just for. I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's you need nice. to be honest. It's nice. It's a little bit. I think yeah. it's like in our sport, we don't have like a, like tennis or f- I don't know. Do you have in football or do you have in cycling oh. like a, a world ranking list? Ah, no, yeah, they don't have. And I think, I mean, I don't know if this really represents it. In the end, it's based on journalists, not like points, because you cannot do it in other sports. No. But it gives you a bit of sp- perspective sometimes. I mean, Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, but still gives an idea. No, yeah, I was thinking about some stuff, but it's it's okay. I feel you're frustrated. <laughs> no, no, I was just, I mean, considering the whole package, the whole season, yes, I understand you were in front. But if you would just do GT racing, I think you would be behind. But I only did three races. Yeah, but if you, even if you did the whole season. Well, we'll see next year. <laughs> if you uh, feel trees, it hurts. Feel it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What about the RSCB awards? <laughs> it was yesterday. We didn't go. We didn't uh, go you no. asked me if we were. I said, "Fuck no, I'm not going." Um, and why? Because we didn't want to. <laughs> no, because I didn't want to. I can be honest. I, I didn't want to go. Uh, for me, it's a nice event. It's nice to to be there, and you know, you get some recognition of of what you did during the season and, and blah me. blah. Um, but yeah, it's always a bit mafia. <laughs> in I, a way. I need to be careful what I say, and I, I if I say what I say privately, I never go. I'm never going to go again, even if I win. I'm not going anymore because I'm fed up with it. I won it once. Yeah. This drive of the year, um, it's fun, but it's the same thing as autosport. It's a nice thing. I have this trophy at home, but. The f- but it's not even winning that thing. And I don't know. And I honestly I would like to know why. Because I, I, I spoke about it with Jacqueline for quite a bit last night. Like, I'm Belgium. I live near the racetrack. 
I've always had the Belgium license and so on. Mm. But I get like far more recognition and maybe call it respect or whatever you want to call it outside of Belgium yeah. than in Belgium. And I'm not talking about fans. I'm just talking about press. Press, you have Jules Kustos and Olivier de Wilde. Mm -hmm. And besides that, everyone from the Federation or normal press or whatever. They don't like, give a fuck. Nothing. I get more positive feedback from German German press, even American press or English press, or in general than than Belgium, and I don't know why. I mean, it's not that I uh, hide my the flag on on my suits or or anything. I'm, I'm proud to be Belgian, but it's very weird. I don't understand it. But also, uh, like, it's not not a secret that the, that the motorsports in Belgium is. I mean, it's not really known, huh? I mean, I no, get sure. I get diarrhea from looking at the TV when I see these dots. And I tell you another story. How much you think... Okay, we don't have to... I don't want to make somebody else's um, salary, but make a guess how much the best da Vogel picker is, uh, <laughs> is earning. I don't know. No, I have no idea. A few, a few millions. Yeah? Yes, by doing throwing darts on a board. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you have to respect uh, their sport, to, they but have, yeah, still. They have, to, they have to train, they are very good. I don't know, it's a difficult sport, but don't get me wrong. But, I mean, probably the only danger you can have is throwing the own dart in your own eye or something. <laughs> I mean... It's quite difficult. <laughs> what, is, what is the risk? Why? Okay, for sure, it's... The grandstands are always full when you see these things so i guess media and 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 company wise they have good uh, money coming in for sponsorships but i don't understand if you yeah i don't know it's for me it's a bit difficult yeah, but belgium I mean, yesterday i had i made a new sponsorship deal with bmc i'm an official bmc ambassador now you got a hard one now or yeah actually i do it's pretty cool but anyway, I went to lunch uh, with the responsible guy for Belgium. And, uh, he, okay, with all due respect, he, he's not completely into motorsport, but he likes it. And But again, the only motorsport people in Belgium know is, and again, with all due respect, eh, I'm not... Yeah, yeah, everything uh, is, with... I mean, is, they all... Is, uh, is Belkar, uh, Anthony Kumpe, Bert Lorrain, and, and Tom Boon. And this... Yeah is in the eyes the highest level of auto sport yeah. they they know and with all again nothing against no, no, no. And, and tom <laughs> <laughs> no no <laughs> they're all nice guys they're yeah, all yeah, very they nice are. guys they are um but yeah we're it's it's different no but it's not uh it's not that but that's the only highest level yeah it's 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 the only thing people around here know and what what we do is i feel like honestly absolutely like zero recognized yeah i must say more and more lately yeah. I don't know why. I don't know. I don't know. I would like to know. I was in the uh, Nachtwing, uh, like the night shop in yeah. Hasselt, and I got recognized by three people at the uh, uh, Geneva Feast. <laughs> yeah, but it, it's not even... Fans are, are, are very good and, and, and are the people who really follow it, but it's somehow in the media... Yeah, like, they blow it up they don't, we the don't, wrong way. Like say, we don't exist, or international yeah. model sport doesn't exist, even though you have big Belgium names. Yeah, and... Um, but, but it's a big, it's a, I mean, I, I really don't care anymore. I know our, my, our dad yeah. made a big thing when we just start racing, but yeah, it is what it is. I mean, we can't change it. If the, no. if the people don't want to do it, then it doesn't happen because those are the people who write it. Yeah, yeah. it. And we have one, two, I think two, like you said, good ones who really yeah. follow everything and, and, and write the right things and, and, and follow the right things we, we do. Mm -hmm. But that's unfortunately it, and those also should, yeah, get some credit. But anyway, it's a big, uh, it's a bit shit. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Other topic, but yeah. So yeah, the RSV awards. Um, I want to say something about that though. Okay. Is because a girl has won, Sarah Bovi, which I congratulate yeah. because she did a very good season. She won Spa, I think, and she did a she won a rec round, and yeah. she did a a good season. Um. So and I think it's a nice thing for for motorsports for the for the girls to you know to get the recognition. Um, so I think it's a nice thing from the RCB, uh, <laughs> even though it was always in pro am, which is not the same as doing it pro or Formula E or whatever. But still, I, I give my full credits because she did a good thing, and if she yeah yeah she did it good for for the girls in the motorsport world. 
I feel like a presentator. Why? Should yeah, you I said the, the political thing. Yeah. So, but now it's coming. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's no. I, 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 like I said, I didn't expect it. Not at all. No. But uh, yeah, I'm happy for him. I don't really know her so well. She blocked me in qualifying in Barcelona. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> that bitch. Uh, <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not cutting anything out anymore. <laughs> Whoever heard it, they heard it. Um, <laughs> no. no, yeah. That was my thing uh, about RSV words. Yeah, I think well, we had enough uh, yeah, gossip. Said. Probably going to already get in trouble again for yeah. everything we said. So what was your best or wor and worst moment in 2023? <clears throat> yeah, I think... I'll, I'll start... I think we'll start with just reviewing quickly the year. Are you want review? Yeah, that's what I've written down there on the... Yeah, but you didn't. You first have to say the best and the worst one. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, in general, and you don't maybe, or maybe you don't see it from the outside, and you also see it as I think. But I'm, I think it's been one of my, not sure best season, but one of my better seasons I've done, in terms of race win. Absolutely not. I only won twelve hours of Sebring. That's the only race I've won, and two podiums. Yeah, two podiums beside that in Portima and Fuji. So not very much success, but the way I personally see myself, the way I worked, the way I had my commitment, the way I achieved what I wanted to achieve for myself, I'm very happy, especially coming from, from last year. Um, so with that, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with what I personally did. But yeah, in motorsport... Uh, it's not like you need a pair of shoes and you need to go running, let's say. You're dependent on on a lot of things in terms of result. Obviously, like I said, only one win is not really um, a dream. But um, yeah, there's not always much you have in, in hand with that. So generally about 2023, me personally... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> quite happy, but uh, would like to have some more wins. Um but yeah. No, I must say you you had a good season. I, I mean, I didn't watch every race, but I watched most of them. And uh, for you, I think personal, like you said, general re um, results were not the best, I think, or not what you want. Mm. But your personal performance was, was good, was more than good. So at, at least, I mean, looking from the outside. Better, but, but that was positive. You? Are you your one? Uh, a bit difficult, uh, of course. You know, as the first, the first year with BMW uh, in GT car and GT racing, um, I needed a bit of time to be honest to adapt to the front engine because I mm. something I really hate is understeer, Me too. and uh, it had it, it has it quite a lot. Um, if you have, if you manage to set up well, uh, you have it in a decent window. Um, but the window is very small, so you need to hit it right every weekend. And this we didn't do all the weekends, of course, because it's new for me, for the team, for everyone. Um, so I needed actually, like, actually really three test days to really figure out. And even now, still in the last race in Abu Dhabi, I felt like I made a switch again, even more, about how to drive it. Um, but in general, I think we did okay. Um, if you did not count our, okay, then we talk in the European GT championship where we finished second in the championship, I think. Um, if we didn't have this issue uh, in Misano with the, with the wheel nut where we lost the race, we would have maybe f uh, fought for the, f oh, I was still in contention at the last race, but it was like, mm. they had to happen so much. Um, so overall, if you consider this first season to be able to fight for a championship, endurance was a complete disaster. Um, just unlucky every race almost. Um, yeah, overall performance of mine at the end of the season, happy because I made a step. I was where I want to be for myself. In the beginning, it was more difficult, but um, yeah. I guess it's normal when I changed to Porsche as well. It took me, it was also a completely different car. It also took me a bit of time to, to get used to it and just a new environment. So, Yeah, in the end it was fun, you know, also to to, to work, uh, 
to try to get everything in a, in a better window because knowing my past what is what was good and bad from those moments to try and to try and take them over to the to now um it's fun it's not easy because it's, it takes a lot of time and everything but so so i would say what was your best race then if you for me personal or doesn't, doesn't matter but the one you have the closest to your heart <laughs> the closest to my heart yeah or whatever um Oof. I would say either Misano, because that's a race where I felt like I was ahead of the others uh, within the same brand and also mm. like, uh, yeah, like I was ahead and I felt positive with that. Uh, that was in Misano and in Abu Dhabi in the last round. So that for me personally was a very ni good feeling because I felt like I found a way to to deal with the issues I was dealing with with uh, during the season. Um, so I would say, yeah. Probably I will take Kielami because we won and <laughs> I had the same. <laughs> so you talked about uh, Misano and Abu Dhabi. Ah, take Kielami. <laughs> because there I, uh, I had the same feeling as well and we won the race. When so. was Kielami? In February or oh, yeah? March. Okay. It was quite early. Yeah, and it was a fun race. We won. Um it was the first time I won this race. Also Indianapolis was fun. I had a few fun ones, but uh, probably Kelami was was a was a nice one. Yeah. And you? Just thinking about it while you were giving an answer about thirty minutes about your one. Uh <laughs> um not getting it think Fuji. I mean, it's maybe the obvious one, but it was, I mean, I mean, a lot of people probably already know Kevin qualified third with the two Toyotas in front in Japan, their home race. And I was joking the whole time from, yeah, might fancy a crazy move in turn one. I know they will be quicker than us, but try to upset them a bit and, and see how long we can stay ahead. And uh, then I obviously had a good start and had to live up to my big mouth the day before <laughs> and went for it and thought at one moment this is not going to work but then it worked out um, and then to my surprise we led for more than half of the race and I honestly I was in the lead and I looked in the mirror and said okay when are they coming the Ferrari was behind me or when is he coming he wasn't coming said, okay shit am I using my tires too much look at the tire energies and stuff we have and it was all good I was driving clean and we were driving away like okay and just, okay, we finished third, so it was still uh, quicker than us and overtook us, but it was a good boost for the whole team and, and, and the project. Um, so that was good. But Sebring was also very cool because it was the first race in WEC with the program and kind of a dream come true. And then jumping in the next day without any practice into the 12 hours in, the, in GT3 again, just for warm up. And, and then we won that race. Um, and I think I had a very good second to last stint uh, and then Patrick finished it off saving a lot of fuel and being quick that was a that was somehow also a very cool weekend so mm -hmm. one of those probably Fuji yeah I mean it was a good race huh? it was a nice stern one yep. what was your worst one? <clears throat> my worst one Oof. Um, I actually don't know. Uh, probably Barcelona, the last round. We were not competitive at all, and uh, I couldn't do anything, and I was uh, just driving around, trying to overtake someone, which I couldn't. <laughs> um, not even BMW, the BMW. No, no, we were really struggling. I'm thinking, um, no. Oh, I got another idea on the best one. We was Dubai because it was the first race we did. But anyway, um, worst one, I would probably say Spa because as many times I would like to win this stupid race, it happened in Spa. we got taken out <laughs> by... Uh, I am straight by, by the Brazil. Uh, yeah, there was a bit of a mess. And um, yeah, fortunately, they, they, they touched each other and um, we got uh, the cars com was destroyed. We were leading or second. 
I don't know, we had a very good, I mean, we were doing well in the race and we were, I mean, everything was going to plan, let's say, mm. to survive the night. And then something had to happen again, like it's then the last three years now, two years, something always has happened in the night, either it's a... You can borrow one of my two trophies to put it on. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, so probably that's one that was the worst one. Also, ju yeah, was just the worst race of 2023. Mm. I think my one was probably Petit Le Mans and Nürburgring. Petit Le Mans. Oh yeah, Nürburgring with your Pirellis. <laughs> yeah, this was, I mean, it sucks when you, well, Daytona maybe as well. It sucks when you go into a big race. It was two times actually this year. Jesus. Like Daytona we, with this BOP oh, issue yeah, yeah, yeah. with the new 992. We went into the race with literally being one and a half second to slow a lap, which we knew before, and everybody thought we were bluffing, but we were not. I mean, you generally, generally don't do that with Porsche. And you go into the twenty end of twenty four hour race knowing like you have no chance at all. The yeah, whole that's the race. worst. It's the worst. And the only thing you can do is is fuck it up by then even crashing or doing something and. You know, you never just roll around and you still try to do the best you can. But Daytona somehow was still kind of fun because I liked the race. I don't know why. Uh, I was just happy to be there. But Nürburgring, like Nürburgring is, is, a, is a place where you need to take risk. It's a difficult race, all the traffic. And, you know, I encountered an idiot the year before and crashed. <laughs> so I had to kind of behave and... That wasn't, that was just, that wasn't fun. Although it was, I know, you know, people at Pirelli did their best and, and with the team, it was actually a fun place to be. But, you know, if you just don't have the car to compete, it's not fun. And uh, Petit Le Mans was probably a bit more on my side. Um, I was told to be careful to, because I'm a third driver. Although well, I didn't make any mistakes the whole year in, in WEC. Was it in LDH? Yeah. Okay. And then I had this lap, first lap called tires. And oh, yeah, you know. Third lap, somebody hit me uh, from behind. And then in the race, Nick had a crash. And we went back out again. And oh, then yeah. I, I touched a, a back marker car. So made too many mistakes somehow. I made all my mistakes in that one race, which was kind of an important race because I wanted to have that third spot for IMSA, which in the end I still have for, for Daytona. So it turned out okay. But it was like, shit, that's exactly the opposite of what I needed to do. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes it happens and you learn from it and, and you know, you move on. You make mistakes mistakes eventually uh, anyway, so. Yeah, it always, I mean, it's it happens quicker. And at the end, yeah, you learn from it, so it won't happen again. On cold tires, go out <laughs> and spin. It's difficult, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. Daytona I spun uh, two times in the test. <laughs> at Daytona is going to be, because we went testing a month ago and... After two more, like okay, don't take any risk, just do it calm. But even doing it calm, like Jesus, it's gonna be on your on your own, and then on the race in the dark with all the other cars and hot tires coming on, it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm curious to see. I mean, I, I was thinking about it. Was it two nights ago or last night or I don't know, two nights or three nights ago? Where, like, I was thinking about this cold tires. And if you come out of the pit lane, I was thinking, okay, I'm going first stint in the night. Thinking it's very easy. I brake for turn one and I lock all both wheels and I go straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's like, I once I went out the first lap and I was like, okay, just brake really early and just be calm. And that's what I did. Like, and I turned, I was like, hmm. <laughs> not that much room to, to try more. And I was like, really not trying at all. So, but it's the same for everyone. You just need to be kind of smart, but. Well, that's gonna be because better for for yeah next question what was the most fun race most fun race that's an also good question in terms of just a general race weekend just in terms of driving just the fun you had in the race if it was overtaking or driving the car or I'll go first and you can think about it. For me, yeah. it was Le Mans. Oh, for me not. Yeah, okay, why? <laughs> because I, I, although it's the biggest race of the year, 
and the biggest one I yeah. think both of us will ever want to win. But I genuinely also just dri- enjoy driving there. And the car was yeah, it's nice to drive. There. Actually, in the, like in the in the morning of of on the Sunday, it was it was pretty cool. And the last stint was pretty, although we were nowhere because we had uh, the crash. I was just still pushing and actually taking too much risk, but I was simply just enjoying it, mm. just really enjoying driving the car. And then, I mean, it's in the end uh, you uh, you'll see maybe one day. It's just. Really no, you can say no, huh? Is it announced? Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> yeah, you will see next year. <laughs> I can never follow it when I already know since uh, so long. Um, it's just really cool to be driving those cars on that track. First time lap I did on the pre-test, it was like, fuck, that's nice. So. Yeah, I'm curious to see how it goes. Looking, yeah, I have, I don't know what to expect from what I've been used to from this year or whatever. It's not that crazy <laughs> different, but it's just somehow it's cool. Yeah. I found the one, I think. Most fun race for me, I think, was Nürburgring. 24. Yeah. Even though we only finished second, but we gave it... That was our maximum. I mean... On the boost button. No, also <laughs> in general, like in, in, in the way we finished. I mean, we didn't make any mistake. We just got unlucky with this qualifying thing of, of, of Sheldon mm. that he had this, this yeah, the small off. Which put us second last, I think. And yeah, we still finished second. So, I mean, taking that into account, of course, it's a great race. Uh, if this wouldn't have happened, yeah, you don't know what, you never know what happens. But just in general, also for me personally, because, you know, a few r- races before I crashed a car and <laughs> they were very pissed on me. It was my first. On the test? Yeah, yeah. it was my first uh, year at BMW. I was like, oh, shit. And then I did a really good race, actually. I personally, I, w- I think I did a very good race. And um, just all in general, the fun, like, we had a good uh, group. And um, If you have a good car as well on that track, it's super fun. Yeah. But if you have a bad car, oh, then man. it's the worst. Then pff, you should, you should yourself the whole time. <laughs> yep. No, probably, probably Nürburgring, yeah. That was just, like, a full pro factory lineup, and you have fun, and it's going well. And mm. I think that, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. Ooh, next one is interesting, huh? What's Best lesson learned in 2023. Yeah. Should I start or you start? You still have to think for a second. You know your one already? I know my one, oh, yeah. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, so as you all may know, um, no, well, as you all may not know, probably, there was this thing in Indianapolis uh, in the race. Yes. <laughs> you had a few teammates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and did I already mention it on this podcast? Yeah, I think we just I did. Spoke about it. I asked you that question, obviously. So yeah, everybody probably knows what I'm talking about. That me and Maxim, we had our small uh, Shiddle McNizzle uh, on the track, which uh, yeah, you know, there he has his thing, I have my thing. But just in general, yeah, I uh, learned my lesson out of that that I have to <laughs> stay more calm, like do not get uh, in the ref limiter so quickly. If something happens, <laughs> you know what? You should try some meditation. <laughs> yeah, maybe just before I go in the yeah. car, because uh, I was already <laughs> I was already in a limited one stint before I was going in the car. <laughs> so, yeah, um, this is something I uh, I learned, um, and just try to to show it. Dif- I mean, to even though I'm pissed off, to not. Yeah, I have my opinion on it, why I did it, but. Um, I'll learn now that I have to be more calm and view it on a different op- uh, opinion, and which I'll try. I'll okay. try in 2024. That's my lesson. Okay. Very proud of it. <laughs> Let's see how long it lasts. Uh, my one, I think... It's like crashing in the walls? No. Just... You probably laugh about it, and if you take it the wrong way, it might sound, sound arrogant. But just believe in myself <laughs> more without doubting, without doubting the dis- decisions dis- decisions I make or things I want to do. Because I'm I'm I, I uh, it's less now, but I used to be a doubter about everything I do, or I would second guess it often. And I think you just I just need to 
that's the issue. You need to just trust what you're doing and that's, that's the best thing and it will turn out all right eventually and you just need to learn from the bad things you do and I don't regret any, for example, the crash in the Petit Mall. Yeah, stupid. But now I know, okay, yeah, you learn from think, your about, mistakes, huh? uh, think about it a little bit more how wide the car is and, and respect the things on cold tires more and maybe they did those two mistakes and now I won't do them in Daytona and maybe we'll win, you know? I mean, seeing it on those kind of things and just... Did this go in a meditation? It's more like, believe in yourself. Lawrence, yeah. you can do it. Yeah, I'm making my own meditations now. You can laugh about it as long off. as you want. Take but your underwear off. <laughs> you feel it. <laughs> yeah, laugh about it as, long, <laughs> as much as you want. No, but I, I mean, I do agree that the mistakes, uh, you learn from them. Um, as long as you learn from your mistakes, it's not bad to do mistakes. Yeah, you, sh you, you shouldn't put yourself into question the whole time. When you, yeah. No, oh, yeah, for sure. Every time. And this I used to do a lot in the past, which now I'm doing a lot less. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's a good idea. I mean... Yeah, you should do. I mean, <coughs> why should you doubt? I mean, they would. You wouldn't be sitting here doing this if you if they wouldn't. I mean, the podcast. You mean? Yeah, the <laughs> podcast. If uh, if it would be different, so yeah. What's your 2024 calendar? The things you can tell already, like what's been announced, what you're gonna do. Um, so the Just things roughly. I can announce already is that I will be doing the 24 hours of Daytona in LMDH next mm -hmm. month. Um, I'll be doing the full WAC season in LMDH. Um, I'll be doing some other series as well, but I don't know if I can say that already. <laughs> You'll be doing some GT races? Yeah, I'll be doing some. Okay. Yeah, I'll be doing probably like the, the normal big ones like Spa, yeah. Nürburgring. I guess I'll, um, that's the plan at least. And maybe probably some some more around that as well but uh, let's see what because i mean it's it's going to be i mean it's going to be busy next year for me if mm -hmm. i if i manage to do all those together um like we want to do then uh, it's going to be busy but at the moment we still have to see um if it's all possible and like it makes sense not to jump every weekend from one car to the other because then you lose a bit of like you you it's lose more time to trying to one thing yeah, yeah. definitely in car like an LMDH car but. but at the end we'll see so those are the main things for me for sure WEC is, is number one so this will be my I mean I will do that as good as I can and the rest we'll see okay. and you? Uh, Daytona obviously uh, oh yeah I remember now I was thinking about that <laughs> I was that we were going out together on cold tires and then I braked for turn one and I went completely straight <laughs> I locked both wheels and I went straight. <laughs> and you just, I think, just made it with one wheel on the grass. And Yeah, let's try and, like we said last two yeah, years yeah. ago, we, we, from now, because we're going to yeah. do a lot of races together. So Yeah, we, we, have to, we have to sp talk about that. Before. Not be worried about each other, but try and yeah. help each other. This we say now. Yeah. No, but <laughs> we really No, no, we have should. to really, it's like, it's really important. If it's the last lap of a big race, I don't care who you are, but... No, no, I agree. Or that. Yeah. So yeah, I will do Daytona, where you will be. Uh, I will do uh, the WAC season, where you will be. What do you now Shut think? Up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Uh, hasn't been announced yet, but most likely do some kind some something like IGDC. Oh. Um, like Peter's Nurburgring Spa. Uh, maybe uh, in the depend on championship situation, but that's something I would like to do mm. because I think it's a cool calendar. Um, it is. And would love to go back to Bathurst and Nürburgring Spa is always on the list and hopefully go back to Macau, but all the GT3 stuff has not been decided slash or confirmed yet, but that's kind of, I think less races than you, but I'm, I'm happy with that. I prefer to have less and concentrate more. But uh, it's getting older. What do you wanted to say? Uh, how do you feel now that I'll be? I mean, you now did the season um, in WEC and also in LMDH. How do you now feel that I'll be? I'll be there as well. Honestly, no fake. Fake. I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, I, I I don't care. I'm happy. 
for you and I think it's cool to have two brothers yeah. uh, there and two brothers fighting for overall victory in, in, in Le Mans. I think it's quite unique as well. Yeah. Um, but once I'm working, I like like we said a couple of days ago at dinner, uh, we can have a look at how we share some flights and run the cars and go to get yeah. to the airport and all that stuff. But besides that, I'll be looking how you're doing and obviously be happy for you. But for me, I mean, I, 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 I want to win. And if there's one guy I would like to win if I don't win, it's obviously you. And for the rest, I'm, I'm really not you're in your own thinking world. Thinking about it. Yeah. I'm always on my own world, you know. Mm. <laughs> you already gave it a name, your planet, or? Yeah, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice and calm, nobody's there. Yeah, yeah, it's... Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but it is good. <laughs> it's going to be cool. I mean, you, you never know, maybe Daytona or Le Mans will be fighting against each other. As long as you don't drive like an idiot like you did two years ago in the last lap, then I'll be happy. Daytona? Yeah, was it this year? Two years uh, ago. Two years ago. But, well, I mean, if, the, if again in that situation it was you or whoever, uh, I mean, yeah. it's for me, win, uh, Daytona, Le Mans is, is a win it or bin it. It's two things I want to add in this room, is my biggest dream, and I'll go over dead bodies for that. <laughs> <laughs> no, All right, okay. And on that bombshell, we are, f no. Um, Okay, so you, that is already like one of your goals for next year? Yeah, play Tour on the Mall. Yeah? Yeah, definitely. Just that? Well, I think I start to be a bit greedy if I ask for more, maybe. <laughs> it's already, but I think it's enough, no? For yeah. I mean, yeah. I would just be happy to, I mean, of course, yeah, to do to win the Mall in Tour is is for sure the, I mean, the best, the, the the biggest thing I for sure try and win every race but those are the two my two biggest dreams I would also like to be to if we can win this championship I would also be very happy if I could not win uh, Le Mans but win the the world championship I would be very happy as well I, I'd be happy if, uh, for sure as well but if you, if you give me Daytona and Le Mans I would be like yeah whatever I mean not saying I won't try and won't drive I mean absolutely not but that would be definitely be very cool, but I have to if I have to choose between becoming world champion or Le Mans, like easy Le Mans, yeah. no doubt. True. True. Fair enough. Good point. You? Yeah, like I said, for sure Le Mans, Daytona as well. But I would also be very happy with this championship. I need to win Daytona Le Mans because if I come back in Daytona with a Rolex, Jacqueline will take it after ten minutes, so I need to get another one in Le Mans. This, this one you're not gonna have <laughs> True. This, uh, or you can just go buy one. Nope. I said to myself, I won't buy a watch. I will only wear one because I never wore watches, mm. except the Tag Heuer on the racetrack. But uh, I will only wear one when I when I win one. You will wear it then every day. Not every day, but I will wear it. Okay. Walk around like. <laughs> <laughs> you <would> probably <laughs> do, yeah. Yeah, so no, that's uh, for me. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. It will be a cool year. It will be. T I mean, we'll talk about winning Le Mans, but it's going to be. I spoke to Gary Watkins, this journalist about autosport. He said back in the days in Group C, there were more cars, just in terms of, of number. Mm. But he said in terms of competition, different brands, he thinks it's never been this, this strong of a Le Mans ever. Yeah, I think it's crazy now. Yeah. So it's going to be. I hope you're compa I mean, I hope you are good. I think yeah. I don't know. It's very difficult to say now, but it f it all goes feeling well, and but it only you only know when you put the car on the ground in the yeah. first race. So we'll see. Let's see. What's your plans now for the Christmas New Year until Daytona? Um, nothing. Spend time at home because I will have such a busy year next year anyway. So spend time with Victoria and uh, do some t do some things together. Um, we have this uh, New Year planned with our family. Oh, we have Christmas dinner at your place tomorrow. Yeah, no, we have a <laughs> lot of Christmas dinners anyway, but this is normal. But we have this Christ this New Year evening thing together. Yeah, yeah. just spending a lot of time with your ugly face, but. Um, 
other than that, nothing much. I mean, I'm gone for a few weeks next month, so I'm I'm going uh, on a small holiday at the end of the month because I've been gone so long. So okay. at least I won't come home with an empty house. <laughs> um, no, and that's it. And you? Same. Christmas days, Christmas dinner at your place, Christmas dinner at dad's place. Yeah. Uh, I just got a text. You have to be there at six thirty. Yeah, it's just not the same. <laughs> six thirty at Reese's place, <laughs> mom. <laughs> um, and then I'm getting a new tattoo the week after. Oh, yeah. um, uh, you want to say that in Dutch? What it means? No. <laughs> um, and just a bit of training. Oh yeah, don't forget that, of course. Uh, I'm actually also training a lot now. I did a hundred push-ups uh, the day before yesterday. Spread over a month there. No, no, no. In, in, <laughs> three in, a in um, four times. Okay. Two times 30, two times 20. No. Yeah. Applause for Ruth. Um, then New Year and then you know, just some stuff at home. And then uh, we leave on oh, going to Mannheim for like pre-season two days, team building prep, sim and Porsche. And then we leave already on the 12th. We go a week earlier to Dunedin. As always with Emily, and then Zaytona. You stay in the motorhome in Zaytona like normal? We have a motorhome, but yeah, I have Jacqueline and Emily, so I cannot. Ah, yeah, yeah. Take True. It True. For all those, but during the race, yeah. So, yeah, will no. be a short break, but. Yeah, it's not a long break, huh? Eh? Because mm. then it will be also busy afterwards, huh? Eh? If Zaytona, and then if, if we do better, it's better, yeah. and then it's almost straight to Qatar. So it's. I mean, last five weeks, I have been... Last five weeks, before I came home, I was home for two, three days. That's it. But yeah, can't complain. Traveling the world. But sometimes the traveling, if it's like after each other without stopping, it's, it's yeah. exhausting. Like, yeah. I don't mind going away a week, coming home a week, coming away a week, coming home a week. That's Especially that's the jet lags are a bit tough sometimes. But yeah. yeah, can't complain. Last thing for fans. Um, as you can see, uh, Spark made these uh, little helmets from Nürburgring 2022. Well, that was a good year. Yeah, just thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I have oh, Should I sign it? Because I won the race. No, thanks. Okay. Um, and I have quite a few of those, and I'm, I'm giving away three. Um, what you need to do is uh, share our Go podcast. Go on this account. Uh, <coughs> whatever. Um, share our podcast on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, only fans, wherever you want. <laughs> Tag uh, myself and Dries, so with the limit, uh, the standard stuff. And Jacqueline uh, will pick three winners and uh, will send this Christmas gift to your place with or without mine and Dries' signature <laughs> if you really want to. I mean, I would also be happy with my signature because I actually won the race. You were in your bed. You put me out in the race. So yeah, well, it, would be, I mean, it would help. I always say you get what you deserve in the race. <laughs> So yeah, you know what to do if you want to have one of them. Uh, good luck. Yeah, I think that was it, right? So how much you make then on those helmets? <laughs> no, I'm, that's a joke. I'm doing all the work <laughs> on the podcast, so I, that's what we said. All the money goes <laughs> in my pockets, all the five euros. No, no, that was a joke. No, yeah, that was... Uh, okay. Actually, next up we have... Which was next? Renger van der Zande next week. Yeah. And then Mathieu Jamine. Exactly. Coming. And then so we're trying to fit in uh, one or two more uh, before we travel again. So mm -hmm. stuff to look forward to. Exactly. So keep your phone posted or how should you? <laughs> should practice never mind, guys. Yeah. Never mind. Let's call the day on that. Yeah, for the Thanks for watching. And um, check it out on Spotify, Apple, YouTube, and 